welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our Woodland Critter Huggers Winter Add-on dies. These dies are so cute because you can use them with our Woodland Critter Huggers to give them kind of a wintry or Christmassy feel. So let's go ahead and check it out. So first up, here is a look at all of the dyes that are included in this set. As you can see, there's a Santa hat, earmuffs, a scarf, mittens, hot chocolate, holly leaf present, and a candy cane, and some gingerbread as well. And so what you need to do is take these die cut pieces and start to layer them. So I'm using my glue tube there to add a little bit of glue, and I'm gonna layer the kind of fur part of the Santa hat, and then also the little pom-pom of the Santa hat as well. Then here I'm gonna take the candy cane there, I cut it out in red, and I'm gonna layer that over the base in white, and that's what's gonna give it that really cute candy cane striped look. One of my favorite dyes from the set is that cute little present, especially because I could use it for birthdays as well, not just Christmas. And so I'm gonna layer that little ribbon right on top, and it's just so adorable. That bow to me is just so cute. Here we have the little holly leaf and holly berries, which we're gonna layer together. And then here you can see our little hot chocolate. So that mug has a little slit that the die cuts in it and you can stuff the little cream right inside and it's the cutest little thing with that stitched heart on there. Here we have our mittens and the mittens have the little edge to help decorate them and then they have a little stitched snowflake detail on them as well. So they're so super cute and you can cut them out in a bunch of different colors. These are the earmuffs that we have and these are super cute cut out in a bunch of different colors to help coordinate with your card. They're just adorable. And then here you can see our scarf. So the scarf ends, which you can fold along this little score line that the die creates for you. Then I like to take some tape runner and just run it along the inside of the scarf ends and then take the scarf part that's the part that wraps around the neck and hang that little tail right over it. And you'll see just how adorable that looks, especially cut out of pattern paper. Here I've got my little gingerbread men and to add a little extra detail, I'm gonna add some cute little candy buttons there on him with my white gel pen. It just looks so sweet. Now that we've put together all of our winter accessories, we're gonna go ahead and start adding them to some Woodland Critter Huggers. So we're gonna be using the Woodland Critter Hugger to create a fox this time. Now I recommend you go check out the intro to Woodland Critter Huggers so you can see all of the cute animals that you can make with this die just in case you haven't seen it yet. We'll make sure to link it in the description below. I'm gonna cut these little eyes from the back of the face mask. And the reason I'm doing it from the back is sometimes the dye leaves a little imprint, and so that's a perfect way so that nobody's ever gonna see that imprint. So I'll flip them over and they'll be just perfect. I'm also gonna take some black cardstock and just trim out two little rectangles, add some liquid glue around the eye of my cute little fox, and then add some black cardstock there to help color in those eyes black. And now you'll see just how cute that is, and I love the little eyelashes on there. Then I'll add some more liquid glue to that whole face and we're gonna layer that right onto the critter hugger that's been cut from some canned pumpkin cardstock. We cut the ear details out of some storm cloud cardstock and we're gonna add those to the ears with some liquid glue, just like that. And then the face and the belly were also cut from vanilla malt cardstock. So we're gonna add those on there as well. You can see how cute that little nose is. We've cut that from some black licorice cardstock, so we're gonna layer that on. And there's something so fun about building these little critter huggers, oh my goodness. Next up, we're gonna work on the tail. So you'll see that there's a cute little tail, and then we've got the tip of the tail, and so we're gonna layer that right on. And then we can take the whole thing and layer that to the back of the critter hugger. Next up, I wanna give him some rosy cheeks. So I'm cut, I've cut those out of some ballet slippers cardstocks and we're gonna layer that right under the eyes there and it's just adorable that way. Then we can go ahead and fold those arms inward so that that way he can hold onto something and do his little hug, which is just so super cute. So next up, we're gonna work with that scarf that we cut out of some nitpicky fall paper. And you'll see that the scarf has those two little notches there. And that's so that you can fit them right into the arms. So the little notch is gonna fit right into the top of the arms that fold over just like that. Isn't that just so adorable? Oh my goodness, I love it so much. In this case, I'm gonna take the ends of the scarf and kind of peek them out over the arms just like that so you can see that cute little fringe detail. And then we can add some mittens for him, and these have been cut out of some cilantro and noble fur cardstock to coordinate with that cute scarf in that argyle pattern. So I'm just gonna take some tape runner to the mittens and then layer them right over his paws. And he's looking so cute. Oh my goodness, it's just so adorable. 
Then next up, we're gonna add the hot chocolate into his paws. So you'll see there, I'm just gonna layer that in with some tape runner, which looks so cute. You can also put a candy there, which we're gonna be doing later, or any of the other accessories like the present or the gingerbread man. We're also gonna add some of that holly into the fox's hair, which is a super, super cute look. So I want this fox to be a really cute way to present a gift card. So I'm going to take my gift card pocket out and cut it out of that same canned pumpkin cardstock. And then the gift card pocket has this cute little stitched heart. And so I wanted to add that detail on there. But first I'm going to add some little feet. I forgot the feet for him. So we're going to add those on first. And then we're going to work on that little heart detail. So this die provides just a cute little stitch detail so I can hold it in place with some low tack tape and run it through my die cut machine and have this really, really cute detail. Then I can go ahead and fold along those score lines on all three of those tabs and just crease those down really well. Once I have all of those folded, I can add some nice strong tape to each of those tabs. Then we can go ahead and peel up that liner paper and then attach that pocket to the back of the fox because it's been perfectly sized to work with this super cute fox. So I'm just gonna attach that right on there and then I'm able to tuck a little gift card in there. So this is a really cute way to kind of wrap your present when you're gonna give someone a gift card. So I'm gonna just put that little gift card in there and then now you've got the cute fox on the front so you can see just how adorable that is. You could even add a little candy in his paws and it'd be a cute way to present a candy and a gift card. It's so cute and you see that gift card pops just right out just like that. So now that we've created a really cute gift card holder with this, I thought it would be fun to work on a card. So right now I'm going to be recreating a gorgeous card by Elena. So thank you so much, Elena. And I'm going to use my Really Rainbow Christmas pack here. And I'm going to take out that white paper with the gray stars and die cut that with my largest stitched rectangle. Then I'll go ahead and create a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I can add my cute pattern paper onto that card front so that I can start working on decorating it. We'll then take that same stitch rectangle die and cut some of that pixie dust sparkle cardstock. And then we're gonna die cut that with a simple stitched hillside border as well. And this is gonna be our little snow for our critter hugger to stand in. So we can run that through our die cut machine, add some tape to the back and layer that onto the bottom of the card. I'm using the Woodland Critter Hugger die to cut some paper bag cardstock and we're gonna be creating a deer here. So I've cut the face as well and then a bunch of different pieces that I'm gonna need. So here I have the cute little eyes. We're gonna layer those on top instead of die cutting them from the face. And then I have a ton of accessories. So we're gonna be layering all of these pieces together. So first I'm gonna layer the face and the body and those have been cut from some white cardstock. We'll add some feet there. That's from some ground copy cardstock. And then we can start to work on the deer's face. So we're gonna add his cute little nose and some antlers, of course. That's cut from some vanilla malt cardstock. Then we're gonna add the little fur trim and the pom-pom to the Santa hat. We'll take our scarf and we're gonna fold along the score line the die created for us, add some tape to the inside of the scarf, and then hook that from the piece of the scarf that goes around the neck. We're also gonna fold those arms in so that we can fit that scarf in perfectly. Then we're gonna add some blush cheeks and I'm gonna make sure to take the blush and kind of have the scarf cover part of the blush and I think it looks really cute like the scarf is really high up on him because it's super cold. I'm gonna add a little white trim to those mittens and then we can add the mittens right onto the paws of the deer. We'll add the detail to the ears also cut from some white cardstock. And then we can add the cute little eyes. So I'm gonna actually add them upside down so he kind of looks like a sleepy deer which I think is a really cute look. We're gonna add the details to the present and the candy cane, and also add the whipped cream into our hot cocoa mug. We can add a little detail to the tail of the deer and then attach the tail to the back of the deer. And then I'm gonna use a white gel pen to add some cute little details. So I really love adding these little freckles on the deer's forehead and then adding polka dots all over the scarf. Looks super, super cute. And then to go along with the white gel pen, we're also gonna add some details to the little feet there and also all of the accessories. So we're gonna add these cute little lines and I feel like it makes it look kind of cartoony, which I think is really, really adorable. Now, once we've added all those white gel pen details, I wanna make sure that gel pen dries. So I'm gonna move on to creating the sentiment. So we're gonna take out our fa la 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 word border and die cut that from some white cardstock. We only wanted to say fa la la, so we're gonna trim off the extra laws just like that. And then we'll trim off the extra piece at the end of the F as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and die cut a sentiment banner out of some chili pepper cardstock and we can layer that fa la la border there onto that red cardstock. And I love the look of the white and the red on this card. It's so beautiful and kind of a classic Christmas look. 
Then here we're gonna take our little guy out now and add his accessories. So we're gonna add out our cute little Santa hat on there. And then we can start to work on attaching everything to the card. So we're gonna add some adhesive to the back of that sen sentiment banner and layer that onto the card. And then we can trim off any excess. And I think this is a really cute way to present the sentiment on the card. I love that it's going on there vertical. Then I'm gonna take a bunch of foam squares on the back of my cute little deer and then layer that onto our little snow bank there at the bottom of the card. After we have that on there, we can take all of our cute little accessories and kind of put them at the deer's feet. And I think that looks really, really adorable. We're gonna tuck that present behind him a little bit. And then next up, I wanna add a little candy to this guy. So I'm gonna take a little dove heart here and add some glue dots to the back of the heart. And then I can glue the candy right to him and then add glue dots to his mittens and have him holding the candy. So this is super cute because it's going to be a card that you can write your message in, but it's also gonna be a way to present a little treat. I think having him hold a candy cane could, so could be super, super cute too. And I just love this card so much. I love the red and the white with the brown deer. It's just adorable and all those white gel pen details are so much fun and here you can see how you could write your message on the inside but then still present a little treat to someone this way too. So next up, Shari's gonna be creating a card with the raccoon version of the Woodland Critter Hugger. So we're gonna start layering all of our pieces for this cute little raccoon. So we have some storm cloud cardstock and some black licorice cardstock and so we're gonna layer the details for his tail. And then also his belly and his cute little face there. We can add the little details to the ears cut from some ballet slippers cardstock and then give him a little nose and a smile there as well. Then we can take those arm and fold those in so he's ready to hug something. Now, Shari thought it would be really fun to create some details out of felt, which I think is so cute, especially since we're looking at mittens and earmuffs and scarves and things like that. So we're gonna die cut all of these pieces with felt and these dies are gonna cut beautifully through the felt. We can then take our liquid glue and attach these pieces together. So the glue tube liquid glue is gonna work perfectly for this. So we're gonna add a little line of glue and then we can add the details of the little kind of fur parts of the little mittens on there. And I love this combo of the turquoise with the purple. It looks particularly cute with the coloring of the raccoon. Once we have our mittens put together, we can add a little liquid glue onto the raccoon's paws and then we can give him his cute little felt mittens, which is just so sweet. Next, we're gonna fold along that score line in the ends of the scarf, and then we can layer that onto the scarf. So we'll add a little liquid glue to the back of the scarf, and then we can attach that right down onto the raccoon. We're gonna use our tweezers to hold that in place so that it dries really nicely. We'll die cut some silver little earmuffs there, and also some pixie dust sparkle out of the little hot chocolate, which I think is super cute. And then we can add the felt to the glittery silver little earmuffs, and I think it's a really cute mix of the glitter sparkle paper and the felt. We're gonna add our cute little hot chocolate there in with a foam square, and then we'll add another foam square in there to hold the paws together, and that's gonna give it some nice dimension. Then we can attach the tail on the back and give him some little feet as well. As a little finishing touch, we're gonna to add some glue to the arm and then glue down one of the scarf ends, and it's really cute to see the scarf kind of hanging over his paw. Next, we're gonna take out a stitch rectangle and die cut some of the really rainbow Christmas paper. And then we're also gonna create a card base out of some mermaid cardstock. So that's gonna be five and a half by four and a quarter. And then we can layer our stitch rectangle on there to have a cute little turquoise border all the way around. We're gonna stamp out a sentiment from Winter Big Scrapty Words. And we're gonna stamp it out in some clear embossing ink and some nice sticky ink that's gonna be able to pick up our white heat embossing powder that we're gonna add on. And then we'll heat it up with our heat tool so that we'll have this beautiful bright white sentiment on this great peacock cardstock. So it's gonna be a great mix of these pinks and turquoises and that bright white really kind of feels like Christmas and like snow. So we're gonna cut that out with the coordinating die which is gonna create this really cute delicate sentiment. And then we can start to work on our card base. So we're gonna cut out some more of that Pixie Dust Sparkle cardstock using a stitch till side border. And then we can layer that on the bottom to be our little snow bank for our critter to be sitting in. Then next we can add our cute little raccoon to his little snow bank there. And then we can take some liquid glue and add it behind the sentiment and put the sentiment in the snow, which is gonna look super cute. And then our card is all done. I love the mix of textures of cardstock, felt, and sparkle cardstock. It's just so adorable and such a fun and happy card to send to someone. So next up, we have some incredible samples by the design team. And first up, we have a card by Kay. She used our cute little fox, and look at all the presents he's holding. Oh my gosh, it's so sweet how she added the little outside-in Christmas tree to the back as well. 
Megan got super creative and used this set to be for fall, which is perfect because the hot cocoa and the scarf works for fall and fall colors. And how cute and adorable is this card with that wreath opening? She then took the same idea and made the Christmas version of it. So you can see how you can switch up the papers and the pattern papers that you use to create two different looks with this set for both winter and for fall as well. This card here by Lizzie is so sweet. I love how she used the snowfall backdrop and that beautiful navy with the red and the white is just gorgeous. This is the card by Elena that inspired me to make mine today and it is just so super cute. Here you can see that Elise made a bunch of different characters including a penguin and a polar bear and I love all the sparkle accents that she added on them. And Lynette created a penguin with the set as well and how cute are those little feet that she hand cut. They're just adorable. Here Audrey got super creative and created a cat with this set and she also added those awesome googly eyes which I just love. Melissa added her awesome fox to a traveler's notebook and I think this is such a cute idea. And then this card by Yana is absolutely gorgeous. How beautiful does the quilted backdrop look for winter? I can't wait to make a card like this one. And I love that the back of the card is how she presented her cute little gift card. It's just so sweet. So I cannot wait to see what you guys do with these winter accessories. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.